Hello, December. Hey y'all, it's Burgess Taylor. And with December comes Create December. And we've got a good one this year. We really do. Brie comes up with the best prompts. This year they've done the whole month of December. Her and Heather have joined up together again. I am participating. So the very first prompt was a December forest. And I chose to watercolor December forest. But I also chose a poem. And I chose Robert Frost stopping by woods on a snowy evening. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep. And miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. And then this is the naughty and nice with some quotes and I'm going to watercolor this and then this is the pine and berry and that is a quote and I'm going to be watercoloring this. I'm really excited and I do have something that I did. There's a list that you can find your name on that says whether you're naughty or nice and I took pictures. I'm probably going to take a picture of this and take the picture of the names from the naughty and nice list, our names, and then the picture of this and put it in my, my regular journal. Sometimes naughty and mostly nice. And I had the little naughty and nice list on there. And I picked a few quotes. Let's be naughty and save Santa the trip, Gary Allen. I'm a naughty sweetheart, Jessica Simpson. For each one of these, I tried to find a quote or a story or a poem or something. November went well. I have written quite a bit of my book. And I am happy to be in the Wonderland 222. I'm in the journal and the planner. When choosing the pine and berry, I found a quote. I think it's a bit of poetry. I'm not sure. By George Crabb. All green was a nushed say of pine and yew that still displayed their melancholy hue. Say the green holly with its berries red and the green moss that over the grail spread. I found that to be beautiful. I had to look up some of the words, but that's okay. It was it was interesting, and we have a pine tree right by our faux driveway. <laughs> we don't have a concrete driveway. The pine tree is actually in the neighbor's yard, but because of how that sits, we get so much pine straw and pine cones and stuff like that. So I'm actually able sometimes whenever I'm I'm going to be drawing pine straw or a pine cone or something like that to actually go out in the yard when it's the correct time of year and get a pine cone. can be aggravating when I'm cutting grass, however. And right now it is December and we have to cut the grass one more time, I believe. Uh, so anyway, but I, I really enjoy doing the pine and berry. The next one that I did was the lights and ornament. The first little thing that I found, which was a little quote by Maya Angelou, and then I found a bit of funny take on Oh Christmas Tree. So Maya Angelou said, I've learned that you can tell a lot about a person by the way he, she, they handle these three things. A rainy day, lost luggage, and tangled Christmas tree light. I, I really liked that. <laughs> so Oh Christmas Tree it's a funny by Cynthia Waspinski. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, you truly are a beauty. I used to love to put you up. Now it's a dreaded duty. Lugging you out from storage gets more strenuous each year, and assembling all your branchy parts does not fill me with cheer. Then each and every stem I tediously unflatten, your artificial symmetry, it doesn't just happen. Next challenge is your tree lights, which I always have to wrangle. No matter how I've coiled them, they unwind in a tangle. A few choice words escape me as I clear the final knot. 
then turn to find the other end has formed another clot. I string them from your branches, draping with the greatest care, to find that I've run out of lights, your bottom third still bare. After some more blotched attempts, they're artfully arranged. Your lights are nice and even, though I'm feeling quite deranged. These days the decorating doesn't hold the same appeal. Now that the kids are all grown up, it's left for me to deal. Your ornaments now look just right from every viewing angle, but at your back against the wall, the not so nice ones dangle. I thought that was really cute and I had a really good time doing the lights and the ornaments. We are going to go back in time for just a little bit. This is the Nanami Paper 7C Standard. It is the blank pages. This is April of 2015. Derwent Inktense 12. The Koi Watercolors, the Microns. These were, if I'm not mistaken, prompts. A lot of these were prompts from the Fobonichi group. So as you can see, I was doing a lot. This was journaling. I wasn't really planning. There are a few every now and again to do's. That was when my car looked new. Oh, my carbon ink. Oh, one of Mr. Rockstar's acoustic shows. When uh, David was in the Peterbilt. That was Shepherd's Pie, the recipe. These were yoga poses, stretches. That was my daughter graduated one of her degrees. We went to Ruby Tuesdays. We were at Lowe's getting stuff to fix the house. I had a coffee with a friend. Yeah, a shot in my shoulder. See, there's a to-do. This was a, a childhood memory. Sunset dinner cruise, date night ideas. David was finally home from being over the road. These are like a bucket list places I want to go. This was the recipe for the lasagna that David and I were making. It's David's recipe. This was a two list. These were best places to visit here where I live. And that was one of the place inspiration found from good housekeeping. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says I'm possible. Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, we had done this. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Those broke. I got this palm-sized screwdriver. Used it one time, and then I lost the plug thing. Yeah, I've got to find it. I still have that. I've just got to find it. This is 52 GSM Tomo River paper. Now, it might be the sands in now. I, I don't know. I have this in my actual backpack that I take on artist dates. Uh, Burgess Taylor Chronicles, like if I were writing a little news newsletter. We were watching The Last Ship, Season 1, Episodes 1 through 10. We had a marathon. We watched it on Hulu+. Plus. David and I had our first cup of espresso, espresso for the day, out from my espresso maker. These were to-dos. That was, those were things that we were doing. We were doing the sink. I painted the counter. It's Rust-Oleum paint. It was a pewter color, and I didn't realize I had to, uh, we don't have a window in our bathroom. I had to cut on the fan, and it was a mess. <laughs> uh, the Prince with Bruce Willis. Now I'm thinking back to that. I feel so sad about what's going on with Bruce Willis. If I had a $500 shopping spree, it was a happy thought. What would I do? Grateful for the kindness of others and compassion. Those were my hat and David's hat. This is the beginning of anything you want. There are far better things ahead than any we leave behind. That was the Chronicles of Narnia, uh, C.S. Lewis, Beauty and the Beast. It was a little bit of a poem. This was a letter to David. These were some of the favorite foods. This is what happy looks like. It was a gorgeous day and we spent it doing some things. Maria and Victor came over and we watched Hoodwink. Maria helped with dinner. She cut up the veggies. I got the salmon ready, seasoned and cooked squash green beans and red potatoes with rosemary. Dinner was really good. We had a Hershey's chocolate pie with milk for dessert. Victor really liked the salmon and he likes Welch's grape juice. He drank three to four cups of it. So I'm just trying to kind of give you a look back. This was the calendar for the prompts. I'm about to print the one for Create December off, so I'm going to be participating in that. This was a sunset, and this was David at the front of the truck, and the truck, and the map. We were on the road. My Converse, we had a Cinnabon. We had steak and, we had a Philly steak and cheese sub. This was a book I was reading. 
this wasn't a good day so I this was that that's why it looks like focus on progress not perfection I was really missing David Mr. Victor loved his drinks that I got him So that's me way back. I have that camera. I don't use it very often. This was Doug's birthday uh, cupcakes. It's my daughter. So if we were to change our house, remodel, I would want a porch all the way across and I would want a fireplace and I would want to turn the attic, part of the attic maybe for my workspace, my studio. So David could have this as a jam cave now, but back then I didn't have this. I have this little French press. I've never used it. My car, I drew my car. There's Mr. Victor. We went to see a band, Finders Keepers. I just finished reading that series. Technology, this was a prompt. We got Victor like a little pool. This was a self-portrait. I didn't finish this. Victor wasn't happy that he had regular milk, not chocolate. And he was very serious about saying no. And then we get to another calendar. That was David and his friend. Ants, damn ants. Goals for August. I never did insert the picture. That's me and my grandmother, my paternal grandmother. I made this at home, so I put the Starbucks thing in there. This was when I started, I tried the No Excuses Art Journaling. Um, I got that from, I think it was Books A Million or Barnes & Noble, one of those. Here's me and David, my dad. That's before he passed away. That was two years before he passed away, actually. So there's a little letter in there. That turned out really good, and I ended up doing a bigger one of this for David to go on the wall. Made a pocket out of that and so we have some things that uh, I got in there. This was order from Goulet Pens. I ended up getting the Hobonichi AVEC. I was using it way more. I have been thinking about 2024. Really thinking about 2024. And what I, these are my Bob Ross bookmarks. And I made a vision board. I remember very well the journals, the Nanami Paper Standard. I'm gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna do an unboxing. I think that might be one of the only standards by Nanami Paper I've ever had. Because they came out with the Crossfield, and I got hooked on the Crossfield and the Hobonichi. Then I got hooked on the Taroko Design Enigmas, which are 68 GSM. It says NSS Standard Toma River Paper, Toma River Journal. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to talk about what I'm actually going to be doing with this. I do have some stickers that are coming. One of the things that I have really been thinking about is how uh, I want to do some illustrated journaling. I am really interested in doing my my writing more writing elsewhere like with this i'm going to do illustrations with like a little sentence maybe a quote or a paragraph you can really really see the ghosting when it's plain when it's blank now i have a couple of other journals that are more of a creative art arty kind of journal i also have a commonplace journal I also have a personal that's really not for social media journal. A lot of what I put in my journals in the writing is more of a personal kind of thing. And I realized during this year that I really wanted to do more text journaling, uh, but I didn't want all of my text journaling all over the internet, all over social media. Sometimes how I text journal is different, it's not the same every day time i am so 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 excited so i'm back <laughs> this is well right now it's present me but it's actually editing me i started out in the present and then i went back to the past and then i went back to the present now i'm in the future sort of because it's editing me so sugar plums and treat the children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Now I drew and watercolored what I thought of as a sugar plum fairy. Uh, the dance of the sugar plum fairy is the ballerina. It's for the ballerina music. I found it interesting. I actually looked up what sugar plums really were. It's like a candy. It doesn't have really anything to do with plums. 
The next one was mold cider and fruitcake. I put a recipe for mold berry cider and a recipe for a fruitcake loaf. One that is supposed to be really good. I'm not a real big fruitcake person, especially not like hard ones. This one's not supposed to be hard. For childlike wonder, <laughs> I had a cartoon version of Selena in my head. And then I put some poetry and some quotes. I'm going to read one out of the quite a few. If a child is to keep alive her inborn sense of wonder, she needs the companionship of at least one adult who can share it, rediscovering with her the joy, excitement, and mystery of the world we live in. Rachel Carson. So for being present, I put a picture of Selena coloring, and then I put a bit of poetry called Be Present by Paolo Colo. I don't know how you say his name. Make love, make tea, avoid small talk, embrace conversation, buy a plant and water it, make your bed, make someone else's bed, have a smart mouth and quick wit, run, make art, create, swim in the ocean, swim in the rain, take chances, ask questions, make mistakes, learn, know your worth, love fiercely, forgive quickly, let go of what doesn't make you happy, grow. I did little pine trees where I put make mistakes. Bob Ross, y'all. Bob Ross. For the cinnamon slash nutmeg and clove, I put some pictures of oranges, apples, hot tea, which looks like cider. Uh, and I was thinking about hot tea or hot cider. And then I drew, I, I illustrated cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg. And I put a recipe for holiday potpourri. But it has navel oranges in the recipe, which is why I have oranges over to the side with the apple and the hot tea that looks like cider or hot, hot cider. It could be either one. So for gold and silver, I did gold and silver ornaments. And then I put a piece of poetry. When giving is all we have. Now I changed this and kind of made it fit what I wanted. I changed the colors in it. <laughs> one river gives its journey to the next. We give because someone gave to us. We give because nobody gave to us. We give because giving has changed us. We give because giving could have changed us. We have been better for it. We have been wounded by it. Giving has many faces. It is loud and quiet, big though small. Diamond in wood nails. Its story is old, the plot worn, and the pages too. But we read this book anyway over and over again. Giving is first and every time hand to hand, mine to yours, yours to mine. You gave me gold, I gave you silver. Together we are electrum. You gave me what you did not have and I gave you what I had to give. Together we made something greater from the difference. For feast and gather, I did write some a funny like poem, but it needs to be worked on and it has like a it's really messy. So over it, I did a tip in of a bit of poetry by Emily Dickinson called Hope is the Thing with Feathers for the Feast and Gather. I put two pictures and then I put some little, um, I did some little illustrations around it. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity. It asked a crumb of me. So for Christmas patterns, I drew little Christmas trees. I, I made a pattern of little Christmas trees and I put the po poem called Little Trees by E.E. E. Cummings. Little tree, little silent Christmas tree, you are so little, you are more like a flower. Who found you in the green forest and were you very sorry to come away? See, I will comfort you because you smell so sweetly. I will kiss your cool bark and hug you safe and tight, just as your mother would, only don't be afraid. Look, the spangles that sleep all the year in a dark box, dreaming of being taken out and allowed to shine. The balls, the chains, red and gold, the fluffy threads, put up your little arms and I'll give them all to you to hold. Every finger shall have its rings, and there won't be a single place dark or unhappy. Then when you're quite dressed, you'll stand in the window for everyone to see, 
and how they'll stare. Oh, but you'll be very proud. And my little sister and I will take hands and looking up at our beautiful tree, will dance and sing Noel, Noel. Now that's not my favorite. Like I could have done, oh, Christmas tree. For movies and music, I did The Grinch. And I actually put the lyrics to the song and drew The Grinch and watercolored. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. You're a vile one, Mr. Grinch. You have termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Given the choice between the two of you, I'd take the seasick crocodile. You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. You're a nasty, wasty skunk. Your heart is full of unwashed socks. Your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Grinch. The three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote, Stink, stank, stunk. You're a rotter, Mr. Grinch. You're the king of sinful sots. Your heart's a dead tomato, splotch with moldy purple spots, Mr. Grinch. Your soul is an appalling dump heap, overflowing with the most disgraceful assortment of deplorable rubbish imaginable, mangled up and tangled up knots. You nauseate me, Mr. Grinch. With a nauseous super nos, you're a crooked jerky jockey, and you drive a crooked hoss, Mr. Grinch. You're a three-decker sauerkraut and toadstool sandwich with arsenic sauce, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> and then for the 15th, I did for Deck the Halls and Prepare, I did an illustration of uh, Victor and Selena <laughs> uh, decorating the tree. I did the li I put the lyrics down for Deck the Halls. Deck the Halls with boughs of holly. <laughs> Tis the season to be jolly. Don we now our gay apparel. <laughs> Troll the ancient Yuletide carol. <laughs> See the blazing Yule before us. Strike the harp and join the chorus. Follow me in merry measure while I tell of Yuletide treasure. Fast away the old year passes. Haul the new ye lads and lasses. Sing we joyous all together. Heedless of the wind and weather. Now, see if you do that without the fala la la la, I, I, it's a cute poem. I did want to show you I haven't finished I do have some of my stickers this is the latest one by Brie for patrons morning opening this package will cause extreme happiness this came with one of my sets of stickers positive energy emotional support iced coffee unicorn magic I'm not crazy I'm an artist so as I go throughout the year I'll put more stickers on and then you get inside and that's where I have the the more arty creative kind of vision board I did this, I did this. This was inspired by something that Mandy Thompson had. I really liked it. Um, I'm trying to break free of some of my own self-imposed rules. Uh, break free, break free from the self-imposed cage, the rules, self-doubt, fear, the things I want to break free from. David and I watched The Silent Scene. It's a movie and I documented some of the things. Uh, there was a quote this was the scar on the neck. This was the emblem that got left, like a engraving kind of thing. Anyway, it ended up on the bodies. And this was this weird, rare weapon, this sort of like a spear kind of thing. And I thought it was interesting. So then we get to create December. She did such a great, that is so cute. I, I thought I'd do a bit of a flip through so you can see. Now, on most of the pages with whatever I either drew 
are collaged, that kind of thing. I also either have a recipe, a bit of poetry, a little bit of an essay, or a quote, or historical information, and things like that. Sometimes naughty and mostly nice. <laughs> this was pine and berry. This was lights and ornament, sugar plums and treats, the Mouse King, mold berry cider and, and fruit cake. Prompt was mold cider and fruit cake. Childlike wonder, being present, the recipe for holiday potpourri made from oranges, apples, cinnamon sticks, star anise, bit of fresh ginger, cardamom pods, whole cloves, and some dried orange peels. You could also like add cranberries in it. When giving is all we have, <laughs> that was the poem I did, and this was gold and silver. Like I said, that was not my poem. I just changed the colors to fit the theme. Feast and gather, and that's my messy, messy handwriting where I was trying to do a po poem, write it myself. Christmas patterns, and like I said, I did the Little Tree Poem by E.E. E. Cummings. Mr. Grinch for the movies and music. And then this was Deck the Halls and Prepare. And that is it. Before I go, I am using the Wonderland 222 A5 non-stacked. So far, I'm really liking it as far as the planner goes. I'm also using the Wonderland 222 notebook or journal, I guess, notebook. Uh, my mom's name is Alice, by the way, so I thought this was hilarious. My mom thought it was really cute. And I've been adding stickers to things as I go. Now, this started that week that straddled November and December. And I've been doing lots of different things in here. But one of the things that I wanted to talk about for a few moments, when it comes to journaling... I have been a lot of places in a lot of different journals and a lot of different sizes. I've flip-flopped back and forth. And to be honest, I'm kind of tired of, of the flipping back and forth. And I have the Hobonichi Cousin AVEC A5 for work and along with a notebook from Sterling Inc. in A5. The less pages version, uh, the thinner version. I also have this, which is... I've been setting up, it's actually for 2024. Forward to the Moon 2024, small steps lead to giant leaps, Snoopy. I decorated the outside of this with my calendar, part of the calendar that's going to be for 2024. It is based on the Very Hungry Caterpillar. And this is from Paper Penguin Co. And so it starts in January. And I've been decorating for January. I've, I've kind of been going through and doing that. And then I have an insert here that is for brain dumps and things like that. I want to uh, do a Yule Log. Um, this one is Strathmore paper. So I'm going to be illustrating things. Like this is going to be sort of my commonplace book. It will be the whatever. And then I have one of these. And then I have uh, an insert with Toma River paper. That is, this is actually where the brain dumps will go. This is going to be more for my, my personal stuff. These are things that I want to keep. And I just decorated with things that I really love. So things that had come in. I drew this and watercolored it and stuck it on there. And stuck these things on there. And then I have these back here. And then I have some stuff in here. And this is for me personally. I'm probably going to end up putting astrology. I don't know if I'm going to carry this with me or not. Um, I haven't decided because I can take this one insert out and do things like just the stuff that I need for the doctor because I'm using the Wonderland 222 for personal stuff. After using it for a few weeks, I don't want to carry that large thing around. There's no way I'm going to carry that big thick notebook back and forth to the doctor's office. I have this. It's going to go in my Very Hungry Caterpillar cover. It's not time to use it yet. And I have debated over things. I may end up putting December's tracking stuff right here because I carry the A6 in my purse. So I, I did set up and I have I need to go back and write a few things for December. So I did do a bit of things for December. I have a little tree. I haven't put anything else really. I'm doing like the bare minimum. And I, I think that's that's a really good idea 
for me right now. Like I need to go back in from this week right here for this part, put in things. One of the things that I really wanted to concentrate on when I use this is this is an everyday carry. Now, one of the things I was thinking about, because what I want to put on these are things, it's got to be my self-care journal. Doctor visits, mammograms, dentist, all those, anything and everything that, symptoms and that kind of thing. I need to figure out how I'm going to use the pages each day because I need to track symptoms, how I feel when I wake up. This time thing, it's noon here, so I can actually put the time and do check-ins. And we'll see how that goes. I don't know for sure. I thought about using this as a daily uh, watercolor journal, but I'm not. And the reason I'm not is I really want to do illustrated, and I have a sketchbook, or five or 10, that have been started and not finished. I have some sketchbooks that have not been used at all. And one of the things I keep thinking about and keep going back to is illustrative journaling. I want to do creative journaling and then illustrative journaling. I am creative in everything I do. This is my notebook that goes with my work Hobonichi Abek. I've been putting stickers as I get them. I have a vision board that's more like uh, work and stuff. I'm about to put the stuff in here because this is the winter season. Finding flow is my word. I'm following the flow for my bearings, heading in the flow, the, the direction of flow. I, I did this on tracing paper on vellum and it was inspired by um, Stephen B. Reddy. This is more stuff about flow more stuff about flow. I need to finish this page. It's about flow. It's kind of what I'm using. And then I, as I got to thinking about all of this, I was like, oh my God, it's just too much. Some goals. I've been doing writing goals and doing stuff for my work. There's the tree pattern. So this is where December starts. And to be honest, I haven't really put anything in because I was doing it in the Wonderland 222 notebook, even though that's personal. Here is... December and this is this is the work planner this will have things for patreon and YouTube my blog Instagram the Facebook group D did I create art and my writing and what I want for Christmas somebody I really admire who do does illustrative journaling has a class on coffee Kofi. She has two classes. One's a beginner, and then she has the next one. I want to take the beginner one, the very beginning of the year, go through it, and then sign up for the next one and take it. I want to not only do creative illustrative journaling, which is here. So if I do prompts that are, are more journaling, I have a whole bunch of notebooks that are not filled. But this is the blank paper, and I wanted to kind of go back to some of the basics. Through here put a prompt for each week, this week in one sentence. A memory to savor. How did I exceed my expectations? A happy accident. Connect with nature. What I loved doing. Achievements that made me happy. Thank you and I have a comma. Proud moment. Pause and reflect. Something I did for someone else. An idea for a potential new hobby or activity. Something I did out of the ordinary. One time this week I really listened. A moment of my, uh, me time. It's supposed to say my time. Oh, a moment of, of me time. Let me put the quote there. The apostrophe. Moment of me time. A challenge I faced. Something I did deserving of celebration. A moment of calm. And then that's it. Um, I stopped in May and... These came from the Breathe magazine that they come out with usually in December that's for the next year. It's 52 weeks of planning. And I have some of these actually cut out, but they're too big to put in here. So I wrote them. And I'm going to see if I can find some more prompts. I've also got uh, quite a few other things. I really want to get in the habit of recognizing things that I've done well things that were challenging did I overcome the challenge how if I didn't what am I doing to try to I'm just trying more to keep up with 
the things that I do, whether they're on a creative level for Patreon or YouTube, because I've got to get back to putting videos up on YouTube. There's been some health stuff and some family stuff going on. Hopefully I'm back. <laughs> Hopefully I'm back. But family and health, they have to come first. This coming year is really going to be about my art, my writing. So art and creative writing and my health and fitness. And there's some other things like our home and stuff like that. So one of the things that I thought about, because the Wonderland 222 is so, such a chunky monkey that I've already got like bills and stuff in here. So I've already started decorating. These came from sparkle shine studios the holiday and these i cannot recommend her more I, I absolutely absolutely love her stuff i did do some this is her washi tape and it's like a cafe coffee kind of thing i'm excited about what what i'm doing and this is going to be my december review and this is going to be my january overview and I've already kind of done some things because this is me. So it's not work. It's all about me and like the home and personal stuff. I see planning in your future. I love that. <laughs> that came from someone else. I'll have to look that up. My youngest nephew had a little baby girl on Thanksgiving. Y'all, so precious. This is where I've been documenting things and doing like I've been documenting things. I've been setting up the holidays setting up things in general i've got to find some more cat kind of stuff i know i have some cat washi so winter is coming and this is a piece of vellum i am going to put i think some pictures here i was documenting the things that i i want to use this is actually my husband's this was documenting things that were going on and you can kind of see this is um sparkle shine studios as well i haven't finished this like i said there's been some family things and stuff like that going on so i am rearranging a few things i don't want to overtax myself i think it's more important for me to concentrate on the things that make me really happy one of the things that i debated on was using this i thought about using this combining a commonplace and stuff like that but i already have some journals i have some cross fields that i need to fill i <laughs> i have so many journals y'all like i have this which is the landscape stology i thought i'd ordered the square one but it turns out that this was a better choice that's my stickers from the book of the month and i put the other what would alice do sticker on here because i thought it looked cool because of the red this is oracles so i was doing my 2023 review because inner vision and intuition and stuff and so i'm watercoloring and things tarot cards oracle cards this was 2023's card this is December's 2020, December's card. And this is the big Oracle card for 2024. Now I need to do the cards for the, re for the whole year. I haven't done that yet. I'm going to be doing that and I'm going to be documenting them in here. Or I might be doing them in the A5 and then going back here with a review. I'm going to be doing an Oracle card every day in here. But I also have a tarot journal. I start my days with an Oracle card. So that's why I pulled the Oracle card. Except for this one. These are all Oracle cards. I just talked about my tarot card. Haven't pulled an actual tarot card for the year. This is the Oracle card. And I ended up with the Magician Oracle card. That's where I'm at. I'm going to get off of here because I'm just going to end up chatting, chatting, chatting. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I will be doing another video very soon of the next week create december this is day one through 15 i'm going to continue this goes all the way through to the 31st after the 31st you have another one and it says one little word and that's for 2024 i hope that you've enjoyed this i will see y'all again real soon thank you so much for being here bye y'all